What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Ants more blood and plunder coverage here as we're dipping into our third faction. So we're going to go with the Native American uh, starter set. We actually picked up two of these just to have plenty for each of the different units uh, so we can already kind of field a larger force. But uh, we'll take a look here at everything inside so you can get an idea of what you expect when you jump into one of the blood and plunder factions with one of these types of sets. So this is still the old metals, um, so nothing plastic in here as of yet. But we'll be right back after we get this open for you. Alrighty guys, so we're back and we got everything sorted out here. So we get quite a few things here in the set. So we get our sort of all-in-one faction card for the natives. So we get young warriors, warrior musketeers, warrior archers, and African warriors. So we do get eight of the young warriors, eight of the warrior archers, and then four of the other guys, plus a commander figure. So, which we'll have to locate him. So, looking ahead, I think he's probably hiding in here. So, we get two of the Warrior Archers again. So, everything is with these metal sets, mono pose. So, we're going to get everything opened up here in just a moment, kind of sort it all out. But, uh, natives here, as you can tell, lots of archers. And then the one set of four Warrior Musketeers uh, in, in the force. So we'll get the, we'll get all these old, uh, open up here. We'll sort them out and then kind of show you guys in detail. And we'll see if we can find where the commander is hiding as well. So we'll be right back after we get this all opened up for you. Alrighty, guys. So we got everything opened up here for you. So we got our warrior archers. Yeah, trying to get some of the detail. There's a ton of flash on these, though. So lots of bending in place or bending back into correct place. A lot of cleanup work. Definitely a lot of prep work involved we got some of the um the warrior musketeers there that little group again so much uh cleanup will be done on these tons and tons of flash we already kind of bent some of the things back in place the way they needed to be so overall not too bad uh, then we did find our uh, native american commander hiding out here so pretty cool looking with close combat weapon in the back there and I think those, yeah, those should be the um, African warriors. So I'm gonna try and capture a little bit of the detail here for you guys. These metals. So now again, we did go with two boxes of these. Just have a very large force right off the right off the get go. Hopefully um, that will be enough, but uh, we'll obviously have a second box here to get cleaned up and then ready for painting and get them onto the tabletop for you guys. So taking a quick look too here at the warrior stat lines. So the young warriors, uh, four pointers, pretty good resolve actually. Uh, they do start in experience though, but bow and standard melee weapons, they have, all these guys have a fair bit of uh, special rules to them. Quick Hidden Scouts, Support Warriors, Warrior Archers, and Warrior Musketeers. Um, fight and Shooter at 6, um, so kind of average, but again, really good resolve. Warrior Musketeers, they're trained. Firelock Muskets and Standard Melee, they have Evade. Slow Reload, though. Hidden and Scouts, again, 6s for the skills, and then Resolve of 6 as well. And then here... The Warrior Archers uh, trained, bows and standard melee, uh, have that better shoot of 5, which is great, although the the average uh, resolve of 6 there, but evade, hidden, and scout. So even sort of the of the group here, um, they still have three special rules to them, which is pretty cool. And then finally, the African Warriors, also not bad. Um, trained, bows and standard melee, elusive, skirmishers, quick, and scouts. Uh, have the resolve of 5 as well again, and then sort of average all around skills but then come with the better saves on the the stat line there and then looking at the back here again there's definitely some new things i think available now with some of the expansions but all native factions have the following rules so obviously no bigger ships so um, nothing size two or larger um, if they're the attacker they can deploy half the units round down in using lay and wait and then any ships gain the paddles trait and this force may not include artillery, so you do have that to deal with. Now if we want to run the Caribs, again the Kalinago, we get some interesting abilities there. So core warriors, young warriors, um, African warriors, and then support is warrior musketeers and warriors again. Um, 
Four special rules, all units in this force gain ruthless cunning and the sound of thunder special rules. So there's just uh, 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 just a plethora of special rules for like everything in this force. Bow armed units in this force can add the poison arrows equipment to the entire unit for three points. Seems like a worthwhile investment. Command options, any southern tribes, commander, Captain Tabari or Captain Peter. And then finally here, the Caribbean tribes uh, faction. So... Core units, young warriors, warrior archers, and warriors. Support, warrior musketeers, and African warriors. Bow armed units in this force may add the poisoned arrows again for three points per unit. All units in this force gain the skirmishers, the sound of thunder, and reign of arrows special rules. So you have that as well. And then finally, again, any southern tribes, um, commander, or king oldman. So you got all that stuff there. So a good first start here for this Native American box. It gives you an idea of what you can expect inside. So I think as with all these boxes, it's designed to, I think, have 25 guys in total, including the commander. So good enough for a solid game to start. But um, as we said, uh, I think just cost efficiency as far as dollars go to just decide to double up on the starter sets and get plenty of models to have the larger games going right away, too. So... Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know if you have played any of the Native Factions like this and your thoughts on uh, the lists that are out there. We'll have more in-depth reviews on the lists later on. But um, let us know your thoughts and how those games have gone for you and what seems to work well and what doesn't with your forces. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.